discovery line because I did have one character but Stay I didn't back. play with it for so long I you. felt like not starring all way through you're Starfleet you were the one who contacted us yeah yeah we are I'm glad you're here yes I'm sure you can guess we're uh, all a little on edge if it wasn't for Fletcher visiting family here I'd have eaten a disruptor place by now. Not to be critical, but uh, where are the rest? This is it. The Berkshire is in orbit. Oh, that, that's not good. We're in big trouble. These Klingons mean business. What business does it mean? They us out of the mine. Probably down there robbing us blind while we speak. No way we can beam anyone down to stop them. And they've probably killed all our security there by now. We'll do what we can to help, here. Chief. We're definitely going to need that help. There's some gear in those crates. Use it. Thanks, I'll retrieve the game, we'll go from there. Okay, what crates is he talking about? This crate here. Retrieve a kit. Okay, we've got a science kit. Uh, kit modules. Science kit module. We get a science kit. kit. Oh. I know you want to shut down that security field on the mine, but I have an idea. Hear me out, okay? Make fast. Okay. I think we can hook up the field emitter to the power core and modify it to broadcast a field over the entire facility. It's a short-term solution, uh -huh. but it could be what we need to keep the Klingons from getting any more of their troops down there. That might I just know, work. Right? Well, first things first. I'm reading a device at the base of the mine entrance. If you can set up a jumper between it and the main command console, you'll be Ooh. able to reroute the field's power flow. That'll open up the mine for you and set up things for my plan. Rewrite the power. Let us begin. Uh, we need to do fancy things. Uh, connect the force field to the grid. That power bypass. Calibrating. All right, we're in business. Almost. I'm gonna need someone to be my hands down there. Hey, nice work. Perfect timing too. I can hear the Klingons coming. We're about to have some really unpleasant we'll company. We'll do the clouds. Can you rewrite the power? Let me your communicator. If your engineer can walk me through it, I'll, I'll get the job done. Just keep them off me, okay? We will work fast, right. Chief. Here they come. Let them have it. Here we go. Okay. I need you to pull the action, invert it, and jam it back in. Trust me. Okay, it's in there. I think I got it. Now manually you the power while down. a short through the jumper. There we go. All dead. Oh, and don't electrocute yourself. Uh, please. Any more? Get him down. Okay, Chief. Any time now. Look, I'm doing this Do as that. best as I can. I'm a miner, not an engineer. Almost there. Woo! I'm getting there slowly. Okay, got it. Yeah, punch it. That works. Good job, Chief. The field looks good. Ah. System is right, still clear, Captain. Oh, but those Klingon ships They're are getting dead. closer. The faster you can finish up down there, the better. Acknowledge standby, Chief. Thanks for all your help to there. Thank you for putting your lives on the line here. We won't forget it. You didn't have to come help us, least of all by yourselves. But we're really happy you did. Let's go, Fletcher. You're with me. You got it. There's no way I'm sitting around and letting the Klingons take this place without a fight. Oh, and. Uh... Sorry about that whole phaser in the face thing earlier. Won't happen again. 
Don't worry about it, all the Klingons. Klingons worry about me, not the other way around. Let's go. Here we go. Enter the mine. Come on, officers. There we are. Target, shoot back, huh? Oh, it's always weird with the angles in this place. Bye bye, Klingons. There we are. We've run through here now. Nice. Works better when we have three. We're killing them pretty fast. I suppose we'll just have to. I not. can do this. <laughs> Here we go. What? Three, two, one. Secure the dilithium and prepare it for immediate transport. No. Not so fast, Klingon. You're done here. Here we go. Big fight time, I think. Go back to Kronos while you still can. All right. You're down, Neely. You're down, Neely. Wonderful. Captain, what do we have to do? Picking up some strange energy readings near your position. What's going on down there? Did you even shoot a reactor or something? something? Your mining laser is sounding quite that odd. Could be a problem. It might be pulling more power than it should. Give me a sec. I need to run some numbers. This would be life right now, would it? Hold on. Okay. I pulled the specs on that unit. It's an older model, but it gets the job done. It uses two oscillating beams instead of a fixed pulse. Uh oh. I don't like sounding like that. Well, I'm seeing three possible outcomes to this rig overloading. What's the best case scenario Outcome here? Outcome three. You managed to trigger an emergency shutdown before the rig goes nuclear. Still a bad thing, nuclear. Not as bad as, say, a warp core breach, but yeah. still bad. So we should definitely try to avoid that. Let's go with that okay. option. I found the emergency shutdown mechanism, and good news, it's really easy to operate. It's just a pair of simple switches on two separate consoles. Have to be activated at the same time. You unusually precise. I don't know. I guess it was built that way so a single disgruntled miner couldn't shut down the whole operation. Miners get disgruntled, you know. You can do this. Ask around. Okay, Is Tilly. Because you have a lot of experience with miners, right? I don't know why I ran all the way around here. Where's the thing I'm pulling? Oh, it's here. Oh, it was literally right here. Go! Three, two, one, Ooh, together. Wow, that was really close. Good job, Captain. The security field is still standing, the mine secure, and you didn't blow up. That's good. But the Klingons are still on their way. We could use your help up here when you're ready to beam up. Beam up. 
Let's go here. Let's go, 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 go. And deal with whatever mess is up in space. Save the colony. Be all Starfleet, right? Be the best we can. Egalitarianism. Starfleet wear. Mm hmm. I really, 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 really wish there was music in the loan screens. But it's just a little bit weird when you go into a loan screen, but it's just like quiet, which is odd. Especially when you're used to hearing the background music in the background noise all the time. Connection, blah, blah, blah. First one is there. Took a while. Normally, we get one in the first hour, but it's been um, quite a while since we got one, so pretty good going. Normal login. Then we should be back on our ship. Loading Corvin system, Captain, back on our ship. The colony's security field is holding strong. There's still a lot of Klingon ships heading our way, though. We need to leave, and soon. But... But there's a problem. Civilian ships travel through here frequently. We need to warn them about the Klingons, or they could warp into the middle of a war zone. Tell me, can we use logs that like send out uh, an automated Absolutely. warning? Absolutely. We could even remotely program the signal on a satellite as we leave the system, which we should soon. The message won't get very far, but anyone who enters the system will get the signal and be able to turn around before it's too late. Let's do it, Araz. Here we go. Deal with this. Oh yeah, you're dying nicely now. Now you have no shields. Making yourself a very easy target. Draining shields. And this guy's dead as well. Right down all door. Beautiful. Just being honest. Today you will die as warriors. Star. Yeah. Yep, could use one. Any time now. Beautiful.
Come on, stop, please. Here we go. Oh, I got the Hey, go. stay on Earth. Calvary has arrived. All ships, open fire. Here we go. Steadily taking them down. Got the shields out pretty easy. Captain Shren. Shren, sorry. We stood our ground at the Arucanus arm until the situation became untenable. After we disengaged, we were able to reach Starfleet and call for backup. Others will be arriving as soon as they can. We can't afford to lose this system to the Klingons. Thanks for coming, Captain. Don't mention it. You do the same where our situation's reversed. I believe Captain Schaefer would be proud of you and your crew, Captain. Your efforts to defend the Federation are commendable, and my report will indicate this. Thank you, sir. Apart from your valor in combat, I'm particularly impressed by your work with the local satellites. Turning them into distant warning beacons was quite clever. Those signals will save a lot of lives. Corvin 2 is still in danger, sir. Indeed. I'm sure Starfleet Command has detailed plans for defending Corvan. For now, however, your work here is done. You're to report to the Soul System with the civilians you've rescued. Once you arrive, report to Admiral Kensington for debriefing. And so, sir, what about Fletcher? Fletcher would make a fine addition to your senior staff. I'll make a note of it in my report to Starfleet Command. You've done well under extraordinary circumstances. Anton's ship is in good hands. Keep up the good work. Shran out. Oh, he's getting a little bit emotional there. All right, we're done. We've done all we can. Let's get to safety while we still can. Warp! Off we go! Back to our home system. Oh! After everything we went That's through nice. out there, going back to Professor Shermer's advanced physics class doesn't seem as scary now. I mean, what's string theory compared to dodging Klingon disruptor blasts or trying to keep a warp core stable? Speaking of scary, think Admiral Kensington's gonna go easy on you? The ship did kind of get beat up. A little. Uh, okay, a lot. I'm sure it'll be fine. The Admiral's office is this way. I know, that's why I was hiding. Admiral Kensington. Thanks for coming. You've been through a lot. Starfleet Command appreciates your efforts, especially at the Corvin system. I do as well. Thank you, Admiral. I've read the official reports, but I'd like to hear your take on it all, in your own words. Uh, explain what happened. Hmm, this Ja'ula has become quite a thorn in our side. You're fortunate. Very few have survived combat with her. Our okay. agents are on the hunt for Ja'ula as we speak. Bringing in the sister of Takuvma will be quite a blow to cling on morale. This that should, it will. not the only one who wants her to pay for her crimes. I don't think we've seen the last of it, Admiral. Neither do I, unfortunately. Well then, based on what I'm seeing here, you're exactly the kind of officer Starfleet needs now. I know your ship might not be the Enterprise, but you've proven yourself capable of sitting uh -huh. in the center chair. The job's yours if you want it. Admiral? Yes, under normal circumstances, it would take years of work to get your own command. But these aren't normal circumstances. The war isn't going well for us. Oh, we don't have war the luxury now. of waiting years before putting good officers on the line. We need them out there right now. We need you. 
Me? Yes. Corvin would have been a disaster if it weren't for you and your crew. Starfleet wants to recognize that. Therefore, as of now, I'm making your promotion and command official. Here we go. the same things in you that Schaefer did. Honor his name and make us all proud. Thank you, Admiral. We won't let you down. I wouldn't recommend it. I have it on good authority. I'm quite a terror when crossed. On to more mundane Ex boyfriends or girlfriends, is that? to check in with the tailor and update your uniform in a manner appropriate to your new rank. After that, acquire a shuttle for your ship. When you're finished, return to me for new orders. Yes, Admiral. You don't look unhappy. And that's good, right? Yes, Tilly, that's good. Okay, let's run. We gotta go this way. We need to go get our new uniform. Although it's literally not a new uniform though. Here we go. This way. This way. Office here. Oh no, it's this person here, right? You. Taylor. Thank you, show me what's the available. Officer is this way. Nice. There we go. It really suits you. So you don't have to change it, you just have to do that. Got a shuttle officer. Hello, shuttle. Quiet ship sky. Arrow has said you would come by to requisition your shuttle. While you're here, feel free to look at other ships available for re requisition. Thank you. Uh, I don't need to know about either. Science festivals. Don't have the firepower of escorts, but I have the most advanced technology. Starfleet science vessels have the most powerful shields. Additional science bridge officer station and console module slots. All science vessels have sub system targeting and sensor analysis. And what about escorts? Escorts have firepower needed to defend this federation. Small, which means they don't have room for extensive engineering or science facilities. But the weaponry means that their crew is seldom threatened and their speed and maneuverability makes them hard to hit. And cruisers. Cruisers are generally the largest, most reliant ships in Starfleet. They have massive warp cores, which generate surplus power for their subsystems. Cruisers have additional engineer, uh, bridge officer stations, and console modification slots. They also have access to advanced comm arrays. Cruisers adapt well to most situations. They can support other ships in the fleet or operate well on their own. Back. Looks like you're all set. Hey, don't keep the Admiral waiting. Uh, what would you like to know? Uh, did that put a ship? Yes, we got a ship. Right, so on this one it works. I don't know why on the Klingon one, it's weird. Do you go talk to the Admiral? Need to go talk to the Admiral. Here we go. Tilly's sprinting the best she can to try and catch me. Congratulations on your promotion. I will let you know when I have a new task for you. Thank you. Uh, talk to the Admiral. I have a mission for you. Our victory okay. at Pryor's World was hard fought, and we took a thrashing in the process. We've gained some momentum from this win, but our position at Pryor's could become tenuous if the Klingon should return for a rematch. 
Captain Gabriel Lorca of the USS Buran is on station at Pryor's World, and he's requested assistance while they handle mop-up operations there. I believe you and your crew are ready for action. Uh -huh. Yes? Lorca is a fine captain. Here we go. Tough, but fair, with years of experience in the field. Follow his lead and you'll do well. Report to him at Pryor's World for further instructions. Kenzie, I have a mission Agreed. for you. Okay. Do this guy do that? What system? Uh oh, just need to click beam up. Off we go. Beam me up. Where shall we head? We gotta go to the primary system. Can we transport there? Oh, it's a lot of flying. Okay. Well, we're all navigating there. Anything we need to upgrade. Body suits. No one really has anything. Okay. We need to get stuff for these guys. So later on we can kick them out properly. Slowly flying through space. This system has a lot more stars in than the Klingon systems. It's weird how when you got inside the system you can't see um, as many stars. How much further is it? Uh I'll go there right on the edge. It's stupid that you can't transport there. It makes travelling annoying. Oh, we get to talk about random stuff. Been watching a lot of um, crime films lately, mainly lawyery ones. I watched um, some old films from there. I'm not super old, like my age when I was like what growing up, like nineties, so early nineties, early not sorry, late nineties, early two thousands. And some uh, other ones as well, like um, Executive Order and I um, can't remember what the other one is. It's, uh, oh, Cleveland Present Danger. Films like that. Oh, look, the USS Celtic. Here we go. We're almost there. Only five light years away. I think that's a player, isn't it? I hope the Spanky of the USS Celtic is a player. <laughs> if he isn't, that's like a really funny name. The plausibility of the possible. Uh, now entering the Priori system, we picked up an extra supplies at the last starbase. For delivery here. The uh, Shinan and Cicada are expecting us. We should probably deliver supplies to Shinan first, then she's closer. This is the USS Cicada. Switch to frequency 228.7 to adjust for ion storm interference. This is the Shinano. Advise keeping shields up. Cloaked Klingon vessels are still testing our defenses. 
Here we go. Let's Deliver do supplies. This Don't want our shields down for long. Thanks. Our supplies were low after retaking Pryor's world. One more assault and we would have been at critical levels in several key resources. I expect the Cicada is waiting for supplies too. I hope you have what they need. Aye. Let's go and get that done as well. Let's hope uh, we don't get too messed up in this fight. Lowering shields now. We are ready to receive supplies. Transporting. Engineering has confirmed that all expected hardware has been delivered. Thank you. We shall begin repairs at once. Our computer systems have received significant damage from Klingon assaults. I believe the Baran is waiting for you to report in, so I will keep you no longer. Understood, Lieutenant Faf. Let's go. This is Commander Ellen Landry of the USS Buran. Welcome to Pryor's World. Where's the captain Lorca? has requested that you transport over to the Buran to speak in person. Truth be told, we're not certain our hailing frequencies are completely secure. It's, um, it's a long story. Okay. Let's just say the Klingons had a few tricks up their sleeve during battle. Understood, it's a free route. We got our crew. Fletcher and Surveyor. Nice to finally meet you face to face. I'm Captain Gabriel Lorca. Welcome to the Baran. This is my first officer, Commander Ellen Landry. Sorry to hear mm -hmm. about Captain Schaefer. He was one of our best. Agreed. That he was. Damn fine captain. Though from what we've heard about what happened at Corvan, his ship's in good hands. Ah, and my somewhat tardy Chief of Security, Omna Patel. Uh, apologies, Captain. Welcome ah. aboard. We appreciate the assistance. Engineering's this way, if you'll follow me. Their Chief of Security is a bit weird. What took you so long? Ah, <sighs> you try booking a reception hall during prime wedding season. <laughs> I'm oh god. My warrior. Braver than a hundred Klingons. Kapla! We better catch up. Uh, before the captain throws us in the brig with the Klingons. Ha! We've been mopping up here after our scrap with the Klingons. The Klingons did not surrender Pryor's world lightly. Cleaning up wow, the when did Klingons the surrender lightly? Was satisfying. Wow. The Baran is currently holding some Klingon prisoners of war. Okay. Prisoners we plan to deliver to a secure location before we ran into a snag. Lieutenant snag? Kerwin, Welcome I have aboard. someone I'd like Thanks you to meet. Thanks for lending us a hand. Mind taking a look at something here? I'm analyzing some issues with the Baran's critical systems, and a fresh perspective might shed some light. What's happening, Lieutenant? Somehow the Klingons infected our computer systems with a particularly nasty virus during the battle. Another house Mokai trick by the looks of it. It's in several key systems. Sensors, shields, weapons. Ugh. Right now, we can't rely on any of those remaining <laughs> operations. Exactly. Status. If they come back for a rematch, we could wind they up blinded and defenseless. Surrender. They'll run, they'll fight, they'll get knocked out, but they won't surrender. Wonderful. Ah, oh, this damn virus is tricky. Every time I think I've purged it from the defense systems, it comes back when we try to bring up the shields. As the captain's fond of saying, that dog won't hunt. We won't last long in a fight without shields. Let's see what we're dealing with. Modulate shields. Oh, God, modulations look good. Let's see how they handle the virus. I messed that up. I messed that up so bad. Unbelievable. The virus just ate through your fix. Yeah, let's try again. 
I messed it up. Oh, I have to do it over here. Uh. Uh, how do I do this? Oh, I have to do it like that. I remember this now. There we go. I remember this one now. There we go. There we go. There we are. Ah. Yeah, I can do that puzzles. The other ones I suck at. We did that, right? What the? I've got to do this. We just lost port deflectors. Bridge to captain. Cling on vessels decloaking. Lord, get a bridge. I'm on my way. Captain, internal sensors show Keep multiple Klingon virus. transporter signals in your vicinity. All hands, repel borders. Okay. Uh, we gotta kill all these Klingons. Work at a bridge. We need those shields back. Do what you okay. can to keep our port side away from the Klingons. Kerwin, I want you to head up there and give them a hand with. Okay. Wait, I moved too far away? Work at a bridge. Oh, we need he those moved shields too far back. Away. No, I think it's. Chief, get us to the there armory. On it. Here we go. Perfect. Oh wow, he got melted. He got absolutely melted. Captain to sick bay, we have wounded on deck 17. We're on our way, Captain. I'm up. Take one of these phaser rifles. We just finished modifications on them from data we gathered during the Priors World fighting. The Klingons are in for a little surprise. Nice work, I said. Bridge to Captain. The Klingons hit the brig and released their buddies. Looks like they're heading toward the shuttle bay. They're going to make a break for it, sir. So it's a rescue Look operation. Look at the Acknowledged. We're en route. To Pev, Landry, Patel, take the lead. Everyone else, you're with me. Let's move. On you, sir. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got down here. Using console. Deal with you. Whoa. Cutscene. Go on, Locker. He knocked the claim on it with one punch. That's a strong Ellen. guy. Ellen! Can you hear me? Ellen! Cover me. Uh, Del, give me a hand with this. Uh, there's no time. Captain, you need to go. That's not how we operate, Commander. We don't leave people behind. Holy oh, crap. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 
It's clear. Help her. There we go. <sighs> Everyone working as a team. Fortunately, the captain had other ideas. <sighs> nice shop back there. Glad you had our backs. We need to move. Can you stand? Mm. No, I'll manage. It's not as bad as it looks. Here we go. Experience points 30. Okay. Well, that Rich, was that. Captain, shuttle bay access is locked, and the hangar doors are starting to open. Ah, oh, it's that damned Klingon virus again. Bridge, this is the captain. Prepare the tractor beam in case we fail. Deal with you. Nice. Everyone's here. Everyone's alive. Wonderful. Damn. It's even in the door systems. I'll handle this. Bam. Got it. Deal with you. We are preparing to depart to Duran. Prepare for our arrival. Not today. Not on my ship. Change your plans. Kill their captain. Then we do. You'll have to get through me first. Hey, you're dying. You're dying as well. Dead? Dive one dead? Lork at a bridge. The prisoners are secure. Ooh. Give me a status report. Sir, the oh, yeah, they're secure, all right. Cloak. They'll be back. Count on it. These guys are secure, all right. We need to get the Klingon prisoners secured. Unfortunately, our holding facilities here are compromised. Under the circumstances, I think we'll need to transfer the prisoners to the your ship. is ready to assist you, Captain. I think you'll agree we can't risk dropping our shields to use the transporters. You'll have to take a shuttle. It's a little old-fashioned, but if the Klingons are here to rescue their people, they won't risk firing on you. Your ship, on the other hand, will be a target. Be ready for anything. Agreed. We'll be ready, Captain. All right. These Klingons wanted a ride in a shuttle. Load them up. Oh, look. They're all alive magically all of a sudden. I guess Federation always uses stun. Which doesn't make sense. Nice. You all ready? My team Watch will handle the prison transfer to your vessel. I'll have our security chief contact yours to sort out the details. Very well, Commander. Excellent. Are you ready to finish boarding procedures and head out? Yes, we are. Let's just go. Good, you made it. Afraid I have some bad news. We're picking up some photon decay heading our way. My people believe it's coming from cloaked Klingon vessels, and I'm inclined to agree. Get ready for a fight. On sub Captain, our hands battle stations. All ships, decloak. Fine. 